Okay, so okay, so you 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 saw motocross when you were younger, mm-hmm. and you were this is when you was riding, like this is when you started yeah. to ride. This is, the limiter got took off. Sorry, mm-hmm. mom. You know, sorry, mom. The limiter <laughs> got took off, which is which I'm guessing is it's the thing that allows you to go like just mm-hmm. go past whatever barrier that the speed was set to. Mm-hmm. Okay, but but then when did you start to like go from just watching it and doing it to like studying and learning more because how, how you breaking it down like i can tell you've been you take some time you've taken some time yeah. to like you know go and watch some youtube videos read this mm-hmm. read that like when, when did that point come to where it's like this isn't something that's just cool this isn't just like a hobby like this is something i want to learn more about and go more mm-hmm. into depth so is i won't say um i've definitely gotten to a more recently heavy okay uh with me me and my mom are actually getting a motorcycle uh she's taking her msf course right now which is the endorsement you get for it's basically like your license for driving a car and so she's taking that course now like during this weekend and so we were going to do that together but uh i'm down here and she's in alabama so uh yeah we were going to do it together but we ended up having she's taking hers right now i'm getting all my stuff and then i'm gonna take it a little later but um, it's definitely become something more I've, I've researched and got into, like, especially with me getting a motorcycle, because I want to be able to, like, take care of my motorcycle, have it, like, last as long as possible. So I feel like that, like, something that I took more seriously recently, but I've always, like, had a passion for, like, just racing in general um, for since a young age, because I've been into NASCAR, I've been into it all, so. By the way, so your, so your mom, she rides already, or she had? She's, so... She talk about yesterday. it. Talk about it. Talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday, uh, she took her first day. She's uh, it's a three day, it's a weekend course. Um, and yesterday was her first day, and they were telling her she was like, "Wow, I can't believe like this is your first time riding a motorcycle." Like she was like, "Yeah." It was like, "Yeah, going through the weeds and all that stuff. You doing good? No falls." So I'm like, "Shoot, if she can do that good, I know, I know, I can do something." So yeah, it's it's like something that that's really cool like mm-hmm. I feel like it's it's just i feel like that that the, the rush you get from riding a motorcycle is just like top tier like you can't get nothing else like it like i know you can have a convertible and you had the wind blowing and all that stuff for sure but like when you got the wind blowing on your chest you know what i'm saying it's it's, it's different i was gonna ask you yeah. what i was gonna ask you like what is it what is it about about it that like was it the rush is it you like to live on the edge is it like just the adrenaline man it's it's yeah because i mean as far as adrenaline wise i've been on roller coasters I've, I've done a lot of stuff like but like it's just like not there you know what i'm saying mm. like went to six flags the goliath supposed to be the biggest biggest mm-hmm. roller coaster in the south i ain't really it was all right <laughs> it was all right it wasn't too bad but uh i just feel like being able to like watch racing, especially like because it's something I've been watching since I was young. Okay. Um, and that's as close as like you're gonna get to it, is actually being out on the road, like, and it being able to experience it. I feel like that's something that really like entices me to get on a motorcycle and just go ride. Or like, and like the biking community is like top tier. Like, there's people in there that you can meet, all different backgrounds, but like they can be your brothers for life too. So like, it's just like football. You get a good community in. And you're like, oh, all different people from different places. It's just like that in the bike community. So I feel like that's something that really like entices me and pushes me towards the bike community and like wanting to be a part of like the bike community. Wait, the bike. Okay, so the bike community. How, how do we find out about the biking community? Where do you like you found a Facebook group where we found uh, Eventbrite? Like, what do we? How, how do we come across this? Um, really. So I first started like uh, seeing the bike community on TikTok, which is oh, like. Oh, okay. Uh, which is which is more like vast because like you don't know necessarily where people are based at mm-hmm. but um when you go into that uh there are actually like apps that you can get like i don't know right now like what app i'm going to use but um there are apps that you can get um where you can actually get like a community of people and then like when you're riding you have like different channels like a blue, like a helmet has a bluetooth or like well my helmet has a bluetooth in it okay and so people have that uh like same type of device in their helmet you okay. can all just connect in together uh. and like so you can meet people set stuff up and all that type of stuff so definitely becoming something more more uh recently where i've gotten into like seeing people around gainesville in the biking community